Officially, the division did not exist nor had operatives, and its history was mostly redacted from the Matrix. TV, The Timeless Children, the division began on Gallifrey, but outgrew the Time Lords after they swore a policy of non-intervention, and instead sought to control the universe, beginning with the local galaxy. TV, Survivors of the Flux, at some point in division history, the division was no longer based on Gallifrey, and instead operated from a control ship beyond the boundary of the Doctor's universe, in the space between this universe and another. From here, they took the widest view on history, controlling other worlds from afar, as complete outsiders. TV, Survivors of the Flux, an early incarnation of the Doctor, during their period as the Timeless Child, was contacted, tested and recruited into the Division by Solpato. TV, The Timeless Children, during her service to the Division, the Fugitive Doctor was sent alongside Carvanista and two other Division agents to capture Swarm and Azure after they seized the Temple of Atropos. This was the Siege of Atropos, in which the Time Lord structure for time was ultimately restored. TV, once, upon time, in the aftermath, Swarm was successfully imprisoned. TV, once, upon time, he was kept on the burnished rage battleground, with division agents visiting once every thousand years to check he was secure. N. Sentak was an agent who served on many of these tours. TV, the Halloween apocalypse, the fugitive doctor at some point tried to escape from service to the division, hiding out on earth under a chameleon arch to avoid detection. Division agent Gat employed a troop of Judun to capture her. They traced the doctor to Gloucester in 2020, but the doctor tricked Gat into shooting herself, and escaped in her TARDIS. TV, fugitive of the Judun, with him having been abandoned by the doctor, the division placed a synaptic collider in Carvanista's brain that would kill him within three seconds if he revealed anything about his work for the division. TV, the Vanquishers, 